My name is Christy Irma O'Connell. I'm a five-time CrossFit Games athlete, a marathon runner, a triathlete, a wife, a dog mom, and an avid fitness enthusiast. Back in 2016, I started my CrossFit career by making a major life decision, a very scary one. I went all in. I committed 100% to following this path and this journey. Since then, I have qualified five years in a row until 2021. I went to a semi-final and I did not qualify. I took seventh, but I did earn a spot in the last chance qualifier. The last chance qualifier was tough because the odds really weren't in our favor. There were 30 girls that were ent entered into the last chance qualifier and only two spots went. I really had to regroup and refocus after not qualifying and ask myself what it meant to me to be at the CrossFit Games. I definitely was distraught, I was upset, I couldn't believe that I wasn't gonna be on the floor and I needed to ask myself what I was gonna do about it. And was I gonna commit to the process and put everything I had just like I did five years ago in 2016 or was I just gonna throw in the towel? And that was a question that I was faced with and it was a new one at that. I decided to throw everything I had, every second in the gym, every second out of the gym, focusing on sleep, nutrition, every piece of training. I was committed and I was driven and I was able to snag one of the two last chance qualifier spots. Oh my God, I got second. I'm going to the CrossFit Games for my sixth time to get myself on the floor in the 2021 CrossFit Games for my sixth consecutive CrossFit Games. After the most challenging and the hardest year of my life in CrossFit, mentally and physically, having gone through the ups and downs and just being on a roller coaster all season long, I'm really proud to have been able to face the challenge head on, make it to the 2021 CrossFit Games and come out with my best place ever or tying my best place with an eighth place finish. I found CrossFit in 2013. At the time, I was working as a full-time accountant, sitting at a desk job all day long, sometimes for up to 12 hours a day. I didn't feel extremely passionate about my job, but at the time, I was very passionate about health and fitness. When I found CrossFit, I got into competing. I competed in regionals for two years. After my second year, I was only 30 points out from qualifying for the CrossFit Games, and that really made me reevaluate what I was doing and what path I was heading down. I was so passionate about health and fitness and helping people and wanting to work in a gym, but instead I was sitting at a desk all day long, crunching numbers. There's nothing wrong with crunching numbers, it just really wasn't fulfilling for me. I made the decision to go ahead and quit my accounting job with this hope and this dream of qualifying for the CrossFit Games. It was very scary. At the time, I picked up working a second position at Starbucks, opening Starbucks at five o'clock in the morning, working there until 11, going, hurrying over to the gym, coaching the 12 o'clock class, cleaning the gym, and then getting about three hours of training in before I coached the rest of the night. I was willing to do whatever it took. I was willing to put the work in to qualify for the CrossFit Games. In 2016, after making that commitment to believing in myself and to changing my entire career path, to follow and pursue a passion that I wanted to live out and help other people with, the hard work paid off. I ended up qualifying for my first CrossFit Games in 2016. Heading into the final event, I was sitting in the seventh position and I was 24 points down from the fifth position, which is where I needed to end to qualify for my first CrossFit Games. From the outside looking in, it didn't necessarily look like it was possible. She is not out of it yet. But I knew all of the sacrifices I had made and all of the hard work that I put in and all of the support that I had, that I could do it if I just set my mind to it. To the top. And a short sprint across the floor. Chrissy Aramo is doing everything she needs to do to give herself a shot at Carson. I gave it everything in that final event. Taking that fifth spot, it's going to be Christy and I ended up jumping into the fifth spot to qualify for my first CrossFit Games in 2016. Since 2016, I have qualified for six consecutive CrossFit Games. I now own a CrossFit affiliate with my husband, and I get to help people achieve their dreams and achieve their goals on a regular basis. My message to you is that nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it and you work hard enough. If you can be bold enough, and not put a ceiling on your dreams, you can do it. You just have to make the sacrifice, put the work in, and believe in yourself. I have finished in the top 10 four out of my five years on as an individual and a top 10 as one of the years on a team. None of this would have been possible without believing in myself, taking some chances, and just putting my head down to put the hard work in. I'm living out my dream, and you can live out yours too if you just set your mind to exactly what you wanna do.
and follow your passion. Stepping out, stepping out, body hot like you like. Let the fan from the inside. All I can say, oh, nah, 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 nah. No compromise. Putting up day and night.